Hi, welcome to a tutorial of OpenLM. Today we'll be taking a look at the License Allocation Manager and see what it can do for you. So you probably already know about the FlexLM options file. This is a file which tells FlexLM who to give out licenses, for which application, meaning that you can exclude users from using certain applications, you can include them, you can define a certain amount of licenses which you want to have reserved for a certain groups of users. Now this is a FlexLM functionality which OpenLM happily takes in and also allows you to edit. So most of you know how options file operate. It's a text-based file which is prone to human error. OpenLM allows you to edit those files using a user-friendly interface which simply requires you to select, click and save. Now how does it work? The OpenLM broker reads the options files from the license manager and then sends the information to the OpenLM core. The OpenLM core may edit the options file using the OpenLM broker itself. So let's see what we need to do. First of all, we'll go to our license manager and open up the broker configuration tool. So now that we have the OpenLM broker configuration tool open, we simply need to go to the port in question and under vendors go and create a new file. Simply click on vendors and click add vendors. This will add a blank vendor which you will have to input its name and set the correct path to the options file. Then click watch options file so every 600 seconds, it will be watched for changes. Now, where do I get the vendor name here? Let's click Apply and go to the Data Inquiry under the same port and click Execute. Now, in the output itself, we can see ADSK Flex and we see that it's up. So, we take the vendor name and just put it here. We select the options file path, click apply, and restart broker. Now let's go to the OpenLM server. Let's open up the interface of OpenLM. So this is the license server we visited. And if I click on files, I'll be able to see the ADSK flex, log file, license file, and also the options file in question. Now if we click start options files and go to option files management, this interface will open. Now on the top, we see our license managers, those that have options file configured. So this is our license manager, but we're seeing that the OpenLM server is sending information to OpenLM. Now we can preview the options file if you want. So this is the current options file. We can export it, and after we change it, we can deploy it, but first, if you want to have the ability to make any changes, we need to reverse this order right here. So what we'll need to do is go to Start, Administration, go to Options Files, open up the correct license server, double click or click Edit, and change it so OpenLM User Interface 
updates the options file on the license server. Click Save. Now let's go back to the options file management. So start, options files, options file management. Now if we refresh, we see that the flow direction has changed. Now we can write to the options file. So let's select a certain feature. Let's say this feature. We see already a username included there. But let's add a group. You have users, groups, hosts, host groups, IPs. Let's add a group. So click Add. And select your group. So I want UK marketing. And I want to include them for from using the application. Let's click Save. Now, when we preview, we'll be able to see UK marketing included to this application. So there we go. This is the one. This was added using this interface. Very quick, very easy, with no text-based coding. Now this can, do, can be done for all features, or you can set the certain policy that you want. This can be done for all the different options file you got on all your, all your different license managers. You simply need to click deploy once you're done editing. And that's it. Thanks. Bye.